Hi guys, it's Greg, aka the blogger here, and today I'm going to show you how to add another cool feature to your WordPress.org blogs. So last time I appeared on Homekia, we talked about adding about me sections to your sidebar using the new post editor. And what we're going to talk about here today is actually pretty similar. We're going to discuss adding announcements to the home page of your blog that appear right above blog posts. Why would you want to do this? These things are great for drawing attention to one specific part of your blog or one specific message. For example, let's say you started a Facebook contest where you wanted people to visit your page, comment, like things, and enter. An announcement would really draw people there. Maybe you wrote an ebook and you decided to lower the prices for the holiday and you want to let people know about this piece of information. Um, the announcements section, which I'll discuss, is also great for subscribe forms um, and basically any sort of message that you want all of your readers to see on your homepage um, right above your blog post. What people don't realize is this is a really valuable section of real estate and it can be hard to edit. We don't know how to put things there. We usually opt for the sidebar, but what bloggers are finding nowadays is the sidebar is a little bit undervalued. It's um, it's not as effective at drawing people's attention to certain um, messages because people tend to avoid the sidebar by nature. All right, so let's let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is look at where to add this code. So we'll go into our WordPress editor. You guys get to see a little sneak peek behind the scenes at Dear Blogger, my main blog. So the way we're going to do the editing is in index, the main index template, aka index.php. You want to find this code. And what we're going to do is paste our announcements, quote unquote, into this section in between the loop and where have posts begins. So I've created a few things to preview. The first one is just a general announcement. I'm actually trying to solicit some feedback on my ebooks now for those subscribers who have read it. And I want to create a testimonial page. So this is going to make that announcement. We'll click update. Let's go see the results. So what we created on my blog is a section with some simple text. You could read it if you'd like. And it has a little styling. I prefer this gray line. I really like it. It's subtle. It looks classy. Um, so that's one way of doing this. We could also put links in here. Those could be useful. Let's say we want to get a little more fancy and put in a subscribe form. I talk a lot about Aweber in my writing. And one big reason is because they really let you add forms easily to your blog. So the form we're going to add is something called my about page form. And all you have to do in Aweber is be in the web forms tab. Go to step three on forms, publish, grab some code, a little bit of JavaScript. And once you have it, we're going to paste it in index.php instead of that announcement we previously put in there. Update let's see the results. So obviously this would need to be moved around a little bit or widened, but what we have here is a subscribe form that appears right below every blog or right above every blog post on my home page. Note that it does not appear on other pages, only on home because of the nature of index PHP and the loop function. We should also note that I'm putting up some announcements to my my community now that might be confusing, so I won't keep that up there too long. Update the file, see how when you remove that, things go right back to normal. The third thing we could add in, and something that's pretty popular, is the like box. Now I don't advocate putting a like box right in front of your, um, your readers. It's kind of aggressive, and especially if you don't have very many likes, like me for example, because I just created this page. It's not as effective as some text or maybe a link to a blog post or a subscribe form. So we're actually not getting the 
option here, and I think it's because we don't have the full URL in. Alright. So we have the code, we're going to get the iframe, copy and paste. Again, right under content loop, and let's see how it looks. So, what we put here is a like box. It's obviously not styled appropriately, it looks pretty goofy, but by editing the iframe code, these numbers, you can change all that pretty quickly. I know a lot of people like putting a Facebook box right in front of their readers, giving people the option to like, you know. I don't prefer it, but you might, and this is one way to get it really in front of your readers every time they're on your homepage. So that's three examples. A couple other fun facts. Um, again, this only appears on the homepage, so it's not too intrusive to your readers as an announcement. And let's go back and grab our text announcement, put it in, and then I'll provide a few closing remarks. So this is quite simple and effective. Um, there's some points here to make though. It's important to be brief, to use pleasing copy if you have an announcement for your readers. Don't get extremely technical and try to use really direct sentences and direct calls to action. Um, in this case, you can see I write, if you subscribed here and enjoyed the ebook, please tweet or comment some feedback over and then I tell people how I'll actually reward them for doing so. This should be effective. If you'd like to have an announcement with links and images in it, another point, Make sure to see my previous post at HomeKeyet where I talked about designing About Me widgets for your sidebar. Those contain images, links, and the like. So that about does it. I hope I showed you a nice beginner coding technique to, to really modify your index PHP file and um, something that's pretty harmless. If we don't want to announce it, we can delete it, zap it off just like that. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Until next time, bye-bye.